Hello. Uh, holy shit, a lot has happened in <laughs> the past few weeks. Um, we've got a lot of catching up to do. And if I seem defeated, it's because I am. I've filmed four videos over the course of the past few weeks and all of them had really bad audio issues, like to the point where no one would watch them. It was just so bad, just like a constant clicking noise. So I'm trying something different here. I'm gonna pray that this comes out okay because it's been killing me not being able to post. Um, and I just wanted to come on here and do my makeup, do a little makeup for the soul, do makeup that would make me feel better throughout this absolute crisis in all of our lives. And I'm just gonna kind of talk through everything and just update everyone on where I'm at and maybe hopefully you guys can just, you know, have a nice little distraction and maybe we can connect on how we're all feeling. So definitely not going to be the most uplifting video, but that's where I'm at. Um, and first of all, before we get into doing the makeup and all the updates and everything, I just wanted to say thank you so much to all the people who subscribed recently. My channel has more than doubled in size since I posted my Kosas video. And honestly, I was not expecting all of the love and support that I got on that video. I was like super nervous to post about it. Um, I have just never criticized a brand so openly like that. And you know, when you talk about race, you better know what you're talking about. And that's why I was really nervous. I felt like I was opening up a whole world of criticism. Um, so thanks for all of the support and all the love. Because of that encouragement, I am I feel like really empowered to continue to speak up when I see all that bullshit happening. Um, and so, yeah, I'm really stoked that there's an audience for that, that people want to see that. Um, so thanks. And thanks to everyone who's new here. Uh, let's get started. So first things first, I'm going to start with a little bit of the Kosas. Uh, lip fuel in baseline. It's just, it's a clear lip balm. It's got hyaluronic acid. It has a nice little uh, pepperminty flavor. Um, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna really talk through all of the products I'm using because I'm probably just gonna get like super chit chatty. And I will lip link them in the description box below if I don't talk about them. But this is the Super Goop CC Cream in the shade Light which is a pretty perfect match for my skin. Um, the stuff's really glowy and it has a high amount of zinc oxide, which is why I love it. Um, but let's jump into where we're all at <laughs> in the world. Not a good place, I'd say. Definitely not a good place. Um, about, let's see, today is Sunday and I think it's the 21st maybe. Uh, I've been isolating up in a remote area <laughs> of Northern California for the past uh, eight days um, and ever since I got off work and I'm at my boyfriend's parents' home in Garberville, California. So highly encourage you guys to check that out on a map because I certainly didn't know where it was when I had first heard of it. And they have this beautiful, I don't know if you can see the background, but it's just this like garden paradise. And the second I got off work, I knew this shit was going to hit the fan so fast. And I knew that if I had to be quarantined somewhere for possibly months at a time, I'd want to be up here. It's just like the most remote, beautiful location. You would, you would never know anything bad was going on in the world up here. I mean, people at the grocery store are, are a little cautious, but like there's barely anyone in town there isn't even a bar here like it's you know the the normal way of life here is to stay in so i knew that this would be a better spot than la <clears throat> and the second i you know um and the second i got off work i i drove the 10 hour drive from la to come here and we went grocery shopping for we got three weeks worth of food we spent well over a thousand dollars on food. Oh no, there's an eyelash. Um, we spent well over a thousand dollars on food um, each and stocked up so hard because we knew, we just knew that this was going to be really bad. Um, my boyfriend, let's see, he is, um, or he was a special forces medic in the, um, also known as a Green Beret. 
He was a Green Beret for 10 years and he uh, was a medic and went to infectious disease school. So, you know, he kind of saw that before government was saying this was gonna get bad, we knew it was gonna get bad. Not that our government is very trustworthy. So keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, we were, we've been very scared for a long time. We've been scared about this, um, man, I guess since mid-February. Um, and we started getting concerned about COVID-19, I would say right around uh, probably late January when we saw what was going on in China. Um, and so we are lucky enough that, you know, I, I still have a job and I am so thankful. <laughs> I could cry. I'm so thankful that I have a job right now. Um, I spent all last week barely able to sleep. That's way too much concealer. This is what happens when I'm not thinking. Um, I spent all of last week barely able to sleep because I thought I was gonna lose my job. My company made cuts on Friday and I was I was like pretty sure I was gonna be one of them because I work in business development at the world's largest entertainment marketing firm and I'm their only business development person. Um, I'm starting up a business development division there and you know that's really exciting and it's really cool. However, when you're going through a global pandemic, you certainly don't need someone to be making like sales calls because there's no opportunity to set up meetings. Um, clients would rather wait until they can have in-person meetings down the line rather than take like, you know, a call or a Zoom meeting or something like that. Uh, we are such a huge company that they don't really need me to be doing all of the like new business outreach and stuff that I've done for ages. Um, and so I was absolutely sure on Friday that I was gonna get, I was gonna get axed. And just the anxiety that I felt from that has been next level terrible. But I was really lucky. Um, I report directly to the CEO and he's an amazing boss. And he told me um, that I was an integral part of the team especially for the next few months that I can help. Um, and that meant the world to me. So I'm really thankful, really thankful that I have a job. But, you know, right now, I know a lot of you aren't as lucky. I know a lot of you guys lost your job or you work for companies where they make their money with customer facing activities, whether it's, you know, a bar, a restaurant um, or anything like that, a retail store. I, I mean, I can only imagine the turmoil that is going on in those industries. Um, you know, being uh, in entertainment marketing is really interesting during this period because on one hand, uh, streaming is going up, you know, Netflix is gonna be killing it, a lot of other platforms like Disney Plus and Hulu and things like that. But, um, you know, I would say Probably the majority of our business, aside from Netflix, is from theatrical marketing, meaning we do a lot of like movie trailers um, for, you know, companies like Lionsgate and Universal and Sony and all of that. And they, they can't put their movies in theaters right now. So they're having to shift and possibly go to video on demand and all that. So, you know, they're eventually going to have to reach out to us for marketing again, but it's like, Everything is so crazy and so up in the air. Um, and if you haven't noticed, I'm having quite <laughs> quite a few stress breakouts. I know I'm not alone. Like, do you guys ever have stress breakouts like I do? I mean, look, look how many of them there are. Just, I'm no shame just going for it. Like, it, it's, it's everywhere. There's nothing I can do about it. I haven't changed my diet. I haven't changed anything. Everything's been the same. It's just it's just the stress, and I'm sure that it's it's showing up on your faces too. But um, yeah. Anyways, I uh, I'm just really feeling grateful to have my job still, and you know I don't think my parents or I don't think my dad's gonna be as lucky. Um, he works as an engineer for cruise lines, <laughs> so yeah, that's rough. That's not not a good business to be in right now. Um, my best friend Matt just lost his job too. His company completely shut down and closed its doors, which is just wild. Absolutely wild. It's terrible. Um, and I'm just feeling grateful that at least despite all of this, I feel in a place that's safe and I, I have a job. So 
yeah, I, I cried when I found out that I still had my job because it just, I don't know what I would have done otherwise. Um, and, you know, I've just, I feel like I've seen a lot of the best of humanity throughout this. And I've also seen a lot of the worst. I mean, I was seeing people posting like, you know, this shit that's going around that's like, Mother Nature is getting back to us for treating her badly. Um, I totally understand what people mean by that. Like, I, I get it, I really do. Um, but I've also seen people saying things like, think of the virus as an ally. It's bringing us together. The oceans are clearing up, the skies are clearing up. And I guess my whole thing is like, you can, you can say that there are going to be positive moments during dark times. You can say that you can find a silver lining no matter what, but to go as far as to say that the virus is an ally is just like so insanely tone deaf. It blows my mind. And I've, I've been calling out every single person who's posted that shit and just been like, listen, I get what you're saying, but you're not saying it in the right way. So if you're one of those people, maybe take a second to think about the way that things are communicated during such a sensitive time because it's tough, you know? We're all trying to find positivity here, but I think we have to think about the way that it's being communicated because it's, you know, we're all extra sensitive right now too. Um, but it's been really, it's been really tough. And um, I'm also up in an area where like the internet connection is very slow. I'm gonna have to pay possibly like hundreds of dollars just to upload this video. So I don't even know what my channel is gonna look like. I don't know how long we're gonna be quarantined. I mean, we could be quarantined possibly. I think the US Treasury Secretary today said um, it could be until June. It could be 10 to 12 more weeks of this. So I'm wondering, you know, everything looks so uncertain in all of our lives right now, but I will say, one of the most like, amazing things that's happened from all this is all of the people that I connect with here on YouTube and on Instagram especially um, have been so supportive. And like, you know, people like my friend Chessie, um, my friend Mar, uh, we've developed friendships from Instagram and it has been like totally, totally life-changing. I've made so many more friends because of this account than I ever would have just in my regular life. Like truly, I'm so blessed to be able to have met these amazing people. And that's what it's all about. Like I didn't start this shit to make money. Um, I make money from my full-time job. I really just wanted a place where I could talk about sort of frivolous things like makeup, but also, you know, meet some meet some rad women and, and men too. I just haven't found any yet, but... Um, like I never had, ex I never expected this community to be so nice and so supportive and so positive. Um, and I realized that so many of these people who have beauty accounts are, are just like me in that they want the same thing. They want to find connections. They don't have necessarily an outlet for like beauty in, in their lives. Um, like meaning they don't really have people in, in their lives that they talk about it with. And I think that that is just so, so cool. It makes me so happy that so many other people are like that. Real quick, pausing on the makeup. I wanna do something kind of like bright and ethereal, something to lift my mood a little bit. Um, and usually that means like some form of like pink, something to brighten up my face. So I'm either gonna use Glossier Puff or Mauve Sunrise by Bare Minerals. I'm gonna go with Glossier just because I think I just used this one in another video recently. So Glossier Puff, I think is probably my all time favorite blush. And I wear a lot of pinks when I'm feeling really under the weather. It's just like um, a beautiful, beautiful baby pink. Uh, and it's a little bit sheer. So it's like nice and bright but really it goes on so beautifully. If you haven't tried the cloud paints, I think that they are, let me grab a brush. Um, I think that they are definitely Glossier's best product in my mind. I think you just can't go wrong. You will probably be able to find a shade for you that you love. It's that good. 
Um, and you can see that it just goes on like super kind of sheer and pretty and you can build it up. It can get super intense, but I just did one like cute little dot and that's that. Already with that blush, I feel like my face looks better. I just look brighter and it's hard because we're all struggling with our mental health right now and it's rough times, man. Um, highlighter, I'm going to use the Venix Organic Highlighter in the shade First Christmas and I just did a review of this on my Instagram and you can see it's like a pearly white but it also has um, this like pink shift. Let me build it up a little bit. It looks pretty white there um, but it does have this like pink reflect on the face uh, and so I thought it was going to be a dupe for my, yeah, you can see that's it's pigmented. Um, I thought it was going to be a dupe for the RMS Living Luminizer, but it's actually, it's not. It has the, this texture that's kind of like, it feels like it, it's pretty oily. It's like a hard oil cream, but then when you put it on your face, let me see, I'm going to build it up a little more. When you put it on your face, it sets down. So unlike the RMS Living Luminizer that just stays kind of like balmy and tacky, um, this sets down. And so if you don't like the RMS Living Luminizer because it's it's so subtle and it kind of stays balmy, you might really like these because they set down and um, they have quite an impact on the face. Uh, so I've actually been really liking this. The only thing I would say I don't like about it, if I had to be nitpicky, is I do find, I don't think you'll be able to see it here, maybe if I turn my cheek a bit, um, I do find that you can see the pieces of like shimmer particles, um, but it kind of like goes away after a bit. I feel like it kind of, um, after a while, it really does melt into the skin. So. That's why I think it's so important to test products out for a long time before reviewing them because at first I was like, this sucks. It just looks like glitter on my face. But now I kind of like it. I like it a lot actually. I've been reaching for it every day. So yeah, I got that in PR. This was the first PR that I've ever accepted because um, I've had a few companies reach out and ask if I wanted to try products, but I never felt they were products I'd actually buy with my own money. Um, and to me, having my integrity is super important. Like from the Kosas subscribe, um, not subscribe, from the Kosas sponsored reviews, I lost a lot of respect for some people who did reviews and like raved about the concealer and then pointed out some negative aspects of the concealer in later videos. So I'm not going to get into that really, but the whole point is that I don't ever want to be that kind of person you know, when money is involved and when uh, people are getting shit for free, like things can change. And I just, um, yeah, I'd rather have my integrity. I really would. I can afford to pay for products on my own because of my job. And, um, and that's why I understand why some people would rather, you know, make the money, get free products rather than be totally honest about things. And I get it. Like, <laughs> it's hard to make money and um, it's hard when that's involved. But at the same time, my priorities are a little bit different. So I, I don't, I don't judge you if, you know, making money is your primary driver for starting a beauty account. Um, I think that's great if you can make money from something like this, but um, it's just, yeah, it's just like not what I'm, what my primary motivation is really. But that being said, that was the first uh, the first PR package that I've ever gotten, so I'm feeling pretty stoked about that. Um, for me, really, the commitment to my viewers and to anyone who follows me is I'm only going to accept PR if it's something I'd pay for with my own money. Um, I can't talk when I do bronzer because my voice like sounds like this. <laughs> One second. Okay, now I'm going to use my Aether Beauty Rose Quartz Palette because I really haven't used this enough. I brought it here to play with, and I feel like this is what my soul wants when I'm really depressed. And I know that you guys are right there with me and I'm struggling through this video, but talking it out's making me feel better. I don't know how I got off, off track there, but I'm gonna use this color. <laughs> and 
I don't know if this is gonna be gross, but I might like wet my finger because I don't have any water. Don't judge me. Please don't judge me. I know that's gross, but like, can we just be honest with ourselves for a second that like when people aren't watching us, we kind of do gross shit. I'm sure you guys do. Like, I, you know what? I was gonna share some gross shit that I do, but I don't want you guys to judge me because I'm sure people are gonna be like, girl, you gross. You are disgusting. Um, but yeah, I did just lick my finger and put it into my eyeshadow palette. That's a thing I just did. I did. Uh, but these A3 Beauty shadows, there is a little bit of fallout with these. Uh, it's not really that noticeable. It's nothing like the ColourPop ones. Those are like really crumbly, um, but it is it is noticeable. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm sorry, please don't judge me. Weirdly, when I do my makeup, this always ends up with like a lot of shadow in that outer corner. So I'm gonna try to keep that out of it. Yeah, that's that's a pretty color. I would describe it as um as kind of a reddish violet with blue glitter. And I think it's so nice. Uh, my friend Alexa, uh, Alexa Blake on YouTube or Makeup Blake on Instagram, she uses this shade all the time and it looks so nice on her. Um, should I keep going with this? Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna do a little inner corner action. I'm not done with the lids. Um, I'm gonna take this little light pink one because pinks are gonna make me happy throughout this whole thing. And y'all know I love a poppin' inner corner highlight because it masks my tears. At least that's what I tell myself. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. That's cute. And I think I might build up a little, little color into the crease. I'm gonna do this sort of like camel brown color and just take a fluffy brush and do that. Um, but as I was saying, don't know where we left off, but I think the last thing I was talking about was my mental health. And I'm very lucky that I have uh, two therapists, in fact. I have a an individual therapist and I have a couples therapist and they are both absolutely vital. They are so important to my health. Um, I honestly, I think of, I think of therapy just like exercise for your body. I think it is so important to work out your mind as well as your body and to challenge your ways of thinking. Uh, I just think it's so important. So, you know, there are times when I don't feel like I really need it, but I still continue to go um, every other week for each. And, you know, my boyfriend's mom was a therapist, so he is very much attuned to therapy. And I mean, that's one of the things that's just so incredible about him. Um, he's just so, yeah, he's so open to all of that. And it has seriously changed our communication. It is so important. And um, yeah, I wish the stigma about couples therapy didn't exist because it's like really life-changing. It really is. Um, I'm just taking that brown shade on the lower lash line again. Um, and then I'll be done with the eyes soon. I think I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop palette first but yeah if you guys have any questions about therapy if you've ever you know really wanted to try it or couples therapy even you know right now because of quarantine I'm having phone sessions with my therapist and it's definitely not as beneficial but it is it's still really nice to be able to have that like if you because sometimes you just don't want to overload your family with all of your with all of your problems like you especially if you have a romantic partner you don't wanna just unload all of your shit on them. So instead I pay someone for that. All right, I'm gonna take my beloved ColourPop Custom 24 Shadow Palette and I'm gonna take Earthshine because I like, I like that it's like a purple red, but I kind of wanna just amp it up in the center. And Earthshine is a lilac with blue glitter and the Aether one was a like a violet with blue glitter. So this is just gonna lighten it up and I'm gonna do it right in the center. It's like a little, little pop. Yeah, it just makes it makes it um, pop a little bit more. I think Earthshine might be my favorite from the ColourPop palette, actually. I thought it was always gonna be Glass Bowl or Miser, 
But you know what? This purple color is where it's at. Okay. Already, like, looking at that purple shade, it makes me feel happy. I just kind of feel like I can forget my troubles. Everything's okay. Wow, that deep breath felt good. Um, I'm gonna curl my lashes now. I just tight lined off camera using a little brown pencil because no one wants to see me do that. I, my eyes like roll in the back of my head and it gets like real creepy real fast. Um, so now I'm just gonna use some mascara and I wanted to share some of the precautions I've been taking throughout the, uh, the quarantine process. And um, you know, as you do your grocery shopping and you hang out with your family members, hopefully at home, uh, I have been taking pretty extreme measures because my boyfriend's mom's immunocompromised and they were traveling, so they got here actually after we did. So they've been living in their RV outside in the backyard uh, while we've had the whole house. So we've just been chilling in this big house and we're so lucky to have this because we would have been going crazy in our little apartment in LA. But it's just so weird that his parents are they're in the RV outside and we're not seeing them. We're not really talking. Um, if we see them, we, we're like 10 feet, apart, uh, 10 feet apart. We're really taking this seriously. We do all our grocery shopping. Every time we buy an item from the grocery store, which is once every two weeks, we are disinfecting every single thing. We have gloves on. We wipe everything down, every single item. We wipe it down with Clorox and let it sit for at least 24 hours in the pantry or the fridge before touching it because you know we we don't really we know the virus can live on surfaces for up to 72 hours in some cases but we don't know yet if we can contract the virus from surfaces or if you know, we don't know like how many particles kind of have to be on the surface for us to contract it so we're just really being safe and when we go to the grocery store, we try to maintain a distance from people as often as we can. I feel like I've been doing this eye for forever, so please excuse me. Um, but yeah, we are really taking a lot of precautions. We're really being careful um, to not contaminate things, and especially when we give them to my boyfriend's parents. And, you know, we're just worried because we could be asymptomatic carriers of the virus, and... So I think all of us have to go about our lives with our loved ones and um, thinking about people in the world as if we are asymptomatic carriers. You know, you the only way you're gonna help save people is if you pretend like you have the virus and so you're worried about spreading it everywhere. So that's why we have been iso- Oh no, whatever. Um, that's why we've been isolating for over a week. Um, you know, LA shut down officially a few days ago. Um, possibly, I think it was on Thursday night at midnight or Friday at midnight. Um, before that, the Bay Area shut down, which was, the Bay was really the, the epicenter of the coronavirus in California. But, you know, New York is just getting rocked right now in the worst way. So the only thing we can do is uh, try to prevent the spread, which means staying indoors, not going and seeing people, even if you're going and you're just going from your house to another person's house, you could be an asymptomatic carrier, you could be giving it to them. So you have to be thinking as if you have the virus, not as if like the public has the virus. Um, it's really about being mindful of other people and realizing that as a species, we are really all in this together. Um, I think, you know, a lot of my anxiety right now is coming from the fact that our government has failed us. Uh, They're not being transparent um, and people are having to fend for themselves. You know, the medical cost of treatment for COVID-19, I saw that one woman's bill was $34,000. Just think about that, like it blows my mind. And so if I were to think about a positive that could come out of this awful, awful situation, it would be that we realize we need to overhaul our healthcare system. And I've never really thought about that until recently. I am so terrified of the bill that I would get if I got COVID-19 
let alone the bill that someone would get if they don't have a full-time job like I do. I'm just, yeah, I'm really, I'm really hurting for, for a lot of people. Um, so if you want to talk more about this and, you know, talk more about the precautions we can take, totally hit me up on Instagram. Um, it's the same username, State of Kate. Uh, and my personal Instagram is Kate Gardner, and that's where you can see all of like my daily stuff where I post about my dog and, you know, this, this beautiful area here. Um, my Instagram's a lot more personal. My, my Kate Gardner one's a lot more personal, but my state of Kate one is beauty only. I really try to limit that, um, and keep the two worlds very separate. I'm going to finish up with some lips. I just got this perk, which is the Lila B lip oil and be elegant. It's really nice. I feel like people have been talking about it. Wow, that was a great swatch. Great job, as Kate the Great would say. It's pretty, but like, does it go? All right, I'm gonna try this, and then I'm gonna try a more pinky shade. So let's do this. Ooh, ooh, mmm, it's nice. I feel like people haven't been talking about these enough, like positively. I've seen a lot of negative reviews, which is why I wanted to try it. I was like, well, I'm gonna figure it out for myself. But yeah, let's see. That was messy. Um, you know what? I think it's a little too orange for this look. So I'm gonna take that off. Instead for something pinky, I've got the Ilia Lip Balm and Little Sister, which um, I've just been loving. It's a beautiful pink. It might, it might still be a little bit too warm. And I think for this, I also got this little sample Kosas Rosewater lipstick from Sephora as a perk. And the Kosas Rosewater lipstick is my favorite, pretty much my favorite lipstick of all time. You can see um, it's this one. It is, wow, it's basically the same thing now that I'm now that I'm looking at them. It is though, slightly pinker and slightly more cool toned. So I'm gonna go with this one. Do we like that? I don't know. Let's shear it out. I think we need to shear it out just a little. Yeah. I think I'll make it more of like a gloss situation. Okay. What do we think? Let's do Kosas Jellyfish. Um, I just got this one in the mail as well because I love the one in Dip. Yeah, mm. that's nice. Just gonna give a little zhuzh. Okay, that's it. That's, yeah, that's my makeup for today. I'm obviously not going anywhere, um, but this is the makeup that feeds my soul when yeah, when I'm feeling down and I don't get to really play with color when I go to the office. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to get a little bit more creative. Um, and I hope you enjoyed. I know that this video was like all over the place and it's long and not that positive, but that's just where I'm at right now. <laughs> so take it or leave it. Um, if there are any videos you guys would like to see from me, I'm hoping this audio was okay. Um, please let me know. I. I'm thinking about doing my ColourPop review finally and swatching all of these shadows. Um, and I've also been wanting to play more with this Aether Beauty Rose Quartz palette. I haven't really played around with enough shadows. Um, so if there's anything you'd wanna see from me, like a favorites video or doing a certain look or a tag or whatever it is, let me know because I need some ideas right now since I'm not feeling very inspired. Um, and I, I hope you guys are all doing well given the circumstances. You know, one thing that this whole crisis has taught me is that talking with people and connecting with people is the most important thing. I have never talked to my friends and family ever as much as right now because of all of this. And I've never felt more connected to everyone. So um, I consider you guys all a part of my community and a part of my fam here. So um, sending you all lots of love and uh, I'll see you soon.